Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 23 for our PCNSA series. So I have already covered the NAT topic for source NAT and destination NAT. So today I am going to cover about a NAT which is happening in VWIRE. Okay. So as I have already covered about VWIRE, so I'll just repeat for uh, VWIRE what exactly it is. But if you want to understand in a detailed way, I have created already a video on a dedicated video on virtual wire, which I will do one thing. I'll link down into the I button so that you can click on I button or maybe you can check the description box as well for this video. OK, and also I'll uh, I'll also explain you how a NAT works with virtual wire. What are the scenarios are there to work as a NAT in a virtual wire? Also, I'll give you a practical explanation as well. Like uh, I'll be showing in the lab how to configure VWire with the lab. There's no extra thing that is there, but this is very interesting to see because there are multiple scenarios which needs to be understood by you. So I'll recommend you to please watch this video till then. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> So friends, first of all, we'll try to understand what is virtual wire. So as the name suggests itself, virtual means a logical wire. Okay. So as in Palo Alto firewall, when we configure a uh, V wire, what happens is uh, the interface will not have IP address and no ARP. Okay, so there is no MAC address, there is no IP address. Okay, so the virtual wire will also be deploying in a pair way. So we need at least two interface to create a virtual wire deployment. So whenever a traffic comes through this interface, it basically sends to another interface or if the return traffic is coming from this interface, it will be sent to another interface because as there is no IP address, there is no MAC address. So there is no switching. There is no routing. So that is the reason the virtual wire need to interface or we can say a pair. It needs to be configured. Okay. And there is no routing and there is no switching performed in it, but still it can support your uh, security functionality. If I try to tell you, you the URL filtering, the application control, uh, the NAT functionality, the security policies and so on. Right now we are going to see in this particular lab or in this particular video that how a NAT works in virtual wire. Okay. So friends, let's understand how exactly this particular NAT works in VWIRE. Okay. With the help of this diagram, we'll try to understand this. Okay. So if you understand this particular diagram, the internet or the ISP, ISP example can be Airtel, Geo, Verizon, AT&T or anything. They will be physically terminating the internet connection on Palo Alto, but in VWIRE, right? We don't have any IP address. So no IP address, no Mac address, right? So still we will be configuring the IP address, the public IP address on this particular internet router, right? We are not going to configure in this, right? So all the traffic will be traveling, will be get filtered and then it will be allowed in the internet router and then it goes to LAN or the traffic which hits to internet router and then it goes here then we'll perform the NAT and then it moves through internet right so if you try to understand this particular diagram uh, from this place or from this interface this is actually a outside area or perimeter area where the internet starts but this will be in the front and he'll be filtering the traffic which is going out or coming in right and it will be in a hided mode or stealth mode 
right so nobody can scan it uh, if somebody do, does a trace route nobody can find out that there is a firewall in between because it is configured with a vwire and vwire doesn't have any ip address mac address right so if somebody wants uh, is doing port scanning or something they will never get to know about this particular palo alto firewall right so how the ip schema works as you can see this is our lan ip address this is our internet ip address okay so for this particular lab i have taken slash 24 but mostly what exactly happens is you will be getting slash 30 ip address so one will be here and one will be here for an example okay so slash 30 in slash 30 like how what i'm trying to say is 100.1.1.0 slash 30 so in slash 30 you will be getting two ip address one uh, dot one and dot two three four you cannot use it four is a different network three is a broadcast domain right so in this case we will be using one and two so i can do the translation on one as well okay that is also possibilities we can do that right now here is a thing in this particular example we have taken this as a slash 24 because this is this is how our network is connected and this is how our uh, PC and EVNG is connected through to the internet right so we will be using this particular internet now in this particular case what happens is first we will be doing static NAT and I have already covered the path in my day 12 video so if you have not watched or if you want to see how the path works you can basically go through that i what i'll do is i'll just put that particular video in the i button or in the description link as well you can go and check over there okay so friends let's move on to the lab and let's try to configure this how exactly it works okay and also we will be covering the destination not for this in vwire okay so friends let's move on to the lab and we'll try to configure the NAT in vWire. So let's open the lab. This is our lab. I am explained that same scenario in the theory as well. So let's open the Palo Alto dashboard. This is our dashboard and I've already configured the interfaces like the vWire already I've configured. So zone I've configured, uh, I've configured the virtual wire. Okay. Now what we have to do is we are going to create security policy. Okay. Now before we create that, let me tell you one thing. Okay. Now in this particular network, we have a DSCP already configured. So this particular router will be getting a DSCP IP address, right? From this particular range right so i just wanted to show you the configuration of this particular router so that you will have no doubts on it right so i'll just open the router configuration okay so let me just open show ip interface brief as you can see it is from dscp mode and maybe if you are unable to see this maybe i'll change this to 16 now you can see this so this is from this particular range okay so i'll just put it here so if you see this is from this particular range and it is in dscp mode right so this interface so he has got the ip address from this internet so in some of the cases you will be seeing the isp will give you not a static ip address maybe sometimes they'll give you a uh, dynamic IP address as well. So in that particular case, it will work. Okay. I'll just cancel this. So let's create a policy over here, a simple policy. So I'm going from inside to outside, right? My source would be vWire and I have this particular PC. So I want to do a static NAT. So I have to give a proper IP address which needs to go out. So I'll just put 192.168.10. dot let's say 100. Okay. So I'll make the PC IP address as 100. Okay. 
so i'll just duplicate this and i'll just make it as 100 okay and i'll put this one as okay here fine and in the destination my destination will be same vwire application any any okay that is fine because we have not explored anything on the application side so we are not adding anything over there right now let's add the NAT statement so I'll just put uh, static or static NAT which is as NAT source NAT right so I'll just put it as vWire it will be going through vWire only okay I have to put the IP address which is 10.100 okay destination we are not sure because it is going to internet translated packet so I'll just make it a static IP address translated IP address okay so here I have to put the IP address for now for NAT purpose what I'm going to do is I'll just make it as 100 so I'll just make it the NAT so I'll just put this one as this okay so this is the network and I'll just put so I'm using this particular IP address to do the NAT. So 172.29.129.100 as you can see in this particular diagram. Okay. So let's click OK and we we are we are good. Right. So let's commit this configuration. So while it is committing, I'll just stop the video and start once it is done. Okay. So friends, uh, there is a problem in the IP schema. I have changed the IP address before it was 172.29.129.0.24 and the netted IP address was 129.100, right? So I did this to this basically. Uh, I was having a problem in my VM where okay with this particular ip schema there was problem with eve ng and the connectivity with e, uh, vmware so i have changed it and now it is working fine so we are at the same stage that i have implemented the nat policies the static nat policies everything is working fine okay now i have implemented the change the the configuration what i did I just changed the IP address over here. Everything remains the same. Okay. So I'll just close this. I will go to this particular test PC and we'll try to test the connections. Okay. So friends, let's click on this and we'll try to access the Facebook and you can see it is getting. We are getting into this. Let's go to monitor. We'll go to session browser. And you can see that it is getting translated to 202.100 okay so it is getting translated to this particular ip address as you can see okay so this is how our static nat works in vwire okay thank you so much for watching till the end and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next